Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's time for the morning mindset reset, maybe you would call it. A morning mindset reset. I kind of like that. I'm Kerry Green from livebuildchange.com, and it is my job on these five-minute morning podcasts to encourage your heart in the Lord and to help you get your mindset aligned with His. And we do that by bringing out the truth of the Scripture and applying it to every day. And it doesn't matter what your every day is, whether it's working with the kids at home, doing homeschooling maybe, uh, working at a, at a nine-to-five job of any stripe, building your own business and, and running a team. It doesn't matter. If you take the time every morning to get your mindset right, I guarantee you, because of the promises of God, that your life and your business are going to be on track and you're going to be walking in a way that honors the Lord. So this morning, we're picking up part three of a morning mindset pattern that I see. In Philippians chapter four, the first part was to rejoice in the Lord. In verse four, it's setting your thoughts on who he is. The next part was to submit your anxieties to him in prayer. So refusing to let your emotion and your fear rule you, and instead choosing faith. I'm going to give this to God. I'm going to trust God to do something significant with this rather than just fretting over it. And and let me say, I didn't say this yesterday when we talked about that, but let me say, you may have to do that over and over and over, especially at first when you're learning to do this, because those fears just come back up. They're feelings. They, can't, they don't always just go away right away. But your job is to consistently and repeatedly give those back to God, give those cares to God, give it back to God. He's the one who can handle it, and in doing so, in giving it back to Him, you are expressing faith in Him. You're trusting Him because of that good God He is that you're rejoicing. So here we are. We're up to step number three, and this one you see in verse 8. And this is the part that really has to do with mindset. It says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable— If there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I'm going to say it again. Think about these things. You are to take control of your thoughts every single day of your life. That's your responsibility. You are to set your mind on the things above, the things of God. And so he's outlined a whole lot of things. So you look through your life and you look at what's true. You look what's honorable. You look what's just, what's pure, what's lovely. And you set your mind on those things. You don't let yourself get pulled down into those negative thoughts you have about other people. You don't allow that. You set your mind. You think on these kinds of things that Paul just told us. You don't let yourself... Start playing those old tapes that are in your head that tell you you're no good or that you're, you're never going to amount to anything or, or whatever they are for you. You're not going to listen to those. You're going to set your mind. This is something you have to do. I have a friend who has this funny saying. She says, you can sit on the bed naked all day and God's not going to dress you. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Now, what she means is this. God has given us some very clear things that are ours to do, and he's not going to do them for us, at least not initially. He's, he is our power source. We've talked about that in some previous morning mindsets. But we have to take that first step of faith. We have to choose that I'm going to have faith that's active. I'm going to move on what I believe. And right here, Paul says this third step in this morning mindset pattern is to think on certain things and by contrast, not on other things. So I want to ask you today, looking ahead to what you have on your day and the people you're going to meet and the plate that's so full of responsibility and places to go and people to see, what are you going to set your thoughts on? That's your choice. Set it on what's honorable, what's true, what's pure, what's lovely, what's commendable, what's excellent. You have the responsibility to think on these things. I'm Kerry Green. Find out more at livebuildchange.com.